Well, hey there, Taurus. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus for the week of January 3rd. If this one isn't resonating with you so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings. Specifically, look at your moon, which is emotion, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. If you are a cross-watcher, keep in mind that the energies here could be reversed or flip-flopped. Just um, assign them as they make sense to you. And I won't be taking private readings uh, this week, but I will uh, starting on Thursday. All right, so we are looking at the overall energy here, Taurus. Uh, please like and subscribe while I have you here since I post every single week on YouTube. Um... We're going to pull some cards for your person. We're going to pull some cards for you. I'll clarify everything. But what I'm seeing here basically is communication. Probably uh, something small to start out with, but we'll talk about that in a second. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. We have the writer. Uh, the writer for me in Lenormand is so, like, it's similar energy to the knights. The knights are in and out of situations. They carry messages. The writer can be communication. It can be news about someone. We have love calls. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. And it's showing up with the page of cups here. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So you could be dealing with a water sign, but the pages are often about communication and the Page of Cups may be a small little communication at first. Page of Cups might be a high text or how are you doing? Uh, something along those lines, a small offer of sorts coming in. Um, however, with the Eight of Wands over here, it'll get a lot bigger and a lot more frequent. Eight of Wands is messages coming in like, like, I'm just thinking of texts right now. Have you ever gotten a text from someone and then like you get another one and you get another one where like your phone just keeps on buzzing and buzzing? It's a bit like that. Um, this is somebody that you gave up on. This is someone that you lost hope in. We've got the eight of cups. You can see like these cups are slowly sinking into the water. She's walking off into the sunset. Cups are always about emotion they're always about relationships. This is walking away. It's walking off into the sunset alone. We've got the star in reverse Aquarius energy. You could have been dealing with an Aquarius. Um, the star is like this very hopeful, wishful card. And in reverse, like I, I don't see this going anywhere. I don't have any hope um, that this relationship is going to come around or like this person is going to be there for me. It's that kind of vibe like... You know, this this just isn't going to happen. I have to cut my losses and walk away. So this is a message from someone that you pretty much gave up on, that you lost hope in. Um, let's take a look at this person and see what happens. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is we've got a lot of wands showing up here. This is Leo Sag Aries energy. Wands are always about taking action they're about uh, excitement, um, creativity, passion, power. It, it's someone who is wanting to take action here. So, all right, in the past, we've this person could have shown up to you as the Knight of Wands. That is Leo Sag Aries energy. As I said before, some of you are dealing with a fire sign, someone with fire in their chart. But the Knight of Wands is also someone who's kind of in and out of a relationship, um, maybe they weren't really reliable. They, they would charm the pants off of you, maybe quite literally, and then be gone the next time you, you know, wanted to speak with them. Five of wands is conflict. So this could have been a, a lot of drama in this relationship. Like the two of you could have been fighting a lot. Five of wands can sometimes mean an inner conflict. Maybe this person was conflicted about relationships or whether or not they could settle down or what kind of offer they could make you. 
along with the two of pentacles here, which is wishy-washiness or weighing their options. Um, for some of you, this person may have juggled you with other people. This may have been like a situationship. This may have been a friends with benefits. Um, or maybe there is a third party here. Five of wands and the two of pentacles can sometimes mean juggling romantic rivals. That isn't for everybody. For others of you, this person just didn't know what they wanted. They were kind of wishy-washy about this relationship or conflicted about it. We've got the nine of wands, which is the wounded warrior. This is also someone carrying a torch for you. I think they blew it is what my personal interpretation here. This person blew it and they weren't ready for it. They weren't mature enough for it. They didn't know what they wanted at the time. And now they're thinking, oh, crap. Maybe this was, you know, the person. Maybe this could have been something incredible. We've got the Ace of Wands here, which represents a new cycle. It's also someone really taking action here. And the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So this person may have grown from a knight to a king. Um this person may be taking on the qualities of the King of Wands, which is someone who gets things done. Let's see what comes out on clarification here. Because I think that you just got tired. I think you could have even had that Nine of Wands energy where you were waiting for this person and they just never had any follow through. All right. Well, we've got the star, Aquarius energy. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. This is also someone who sees you as the one, someone who maybe like fantasizes about you. They see you as someone they can't have. Um, I will say that the page of swords didn't show up here, but this person is definitely thinking about you, if not watching you, something along those lines. We've got the Fool, Aries energy. So heavy fire here. The Fool is the brand new start. It's the first card in the Major Arcana. It's wanting a new cycle with someone. This is someone who's ready to take a risk. All right, let's see what flew out. Okay, so we've got the Magician. This is Aries energy, also Gemini, also Aquarius. So lots of Aquarius showing up here. The magician is someone who is being very intentional here. You can see that she's got the sword, she's got the cup, she's got the pentacle, she's got the wand. She's ready to make things happen here. This is someone who's going to be very intentional and probably putting this relationship back together again. Let's check out you. Okay, so... I think that this relationship wasn't growing. We've got the Empress in reverse, Taurus and Libra energy. That's your energy. But the Empress is growth. It's nurturing a connection. And maybe you didn't see this growing or going anywhere that you wanted to go. So maybe there was a focus on yourself with that Nine of Cups. That is your own personal happiness. Having abundance in your life. Having everything that you need. Uh, putting yourself first. I think you cut this person off with the Ace of Swords. More Aquarius energy there, by the way. Uh, the Ace of Swords is a revelation. It's a realization. You may have realized that you needed to put yourself first here, that this person was maybe all over the place and you couldn't rely on them. Queen of Swords here is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy. So the court cards can be aspects of our personality, they can also represent signs. So this could be an air sign that you were dealing with, someone with air in their chart, specifically around their moon or their Venus sign. Um, Queen of Swords, though, she cuts people off. She cuts people out. She walks away from a situation. Maybe this person was very head over heart with you, and they put barriers between the two of you. But that won't be standing for long. We've got the page of wands here. Communication, someone who wants to walk a new path with you. Um, maybe some sexy messages coming in for you. And I think it's going to feel like a victory here with the six of wands. That is a win. It's getting what you wanted. It's being recognized. 
maybe for who you are to this person or maybe this person is seeing you in a whole new light. It's attention, it's affection, it's a victory. Let's take a look and see what we get on clarification here. Okay. Well, we've got the Ten of Cups. You go from the Nine to the Ten. That could be someone offering you a very serious relationship. And what was that one? And we've got the Two of Cups. Um, this is someone who's looking for a relationship, someone who's looking for a commitment. Ten of Cups, Two of Cups. For a lot of you, this is someone that you maybe compare other people to or maybe... Whenever you're not dating someone, this person comes back into your mind. You may think about this relationship because I think there was a very close connection here, even though it didn't move forward the way that it should. All right. Um, I am going to be doing an extended reading here to talk about this person's feelings, to get their intentions, maybe some timing here. You can get that by clicking the join button down below. It won't show up if you're on an iPhone. You'll have to go to a desktop. Um, it's $9.99 and you get access to all of the extended readings for every single sign. All right. Um, thank you so much and blessed be.